Definitely create networks where I have my eyes and ears everywhere in terms of then bringing it back to this community, um, plugging you. So would really love to plug you also on international placements for those ones who would like to obviously be placed overseas and uh, so also step in, uh, tapping, sorry guys, rather tapping into those conversations. Um, obviously educating myself as well so that. I am well informed when I share this information with you. Obviously also, um, I know, I know, I know for a fact that um, there are also red flags on human trafficking. People obviously are cautious about that. And in terms of then which channel to follow, um, which, which recruitment, uh, local recruitment placements to use, um, or rather local uh, recruitment companies to use that um, are obviously partnering with international recruitment agencies as well. So we'll take more into that and the um, right right guys. So for now, this is where I will leave it. I just wanted to open this vlog while I'm in here, uh, make it so people um, networked and definitely be meeting them um, and discussing this in detail. So that, like I said, I am well informed. So this is where I will leave it for now. Oh yeah, guys. <laughs> For the first time, I am showing you my full suit because I'm usually in the car and you guys don't get to see my full suit. So, um, this is what I'm wearing. Um, I can't remember where I got this dress before. Um, I had this dress for a while now, for a couple of years. And I have this shoe from Steve Madden. So, this is my full suit, guys. Um, yeah, I'm putting the dress. It's like someone can just say, Padamu, Mugambakmo. I wish. But anyway, this is where we will be good for now, guys. And yeah, once again, welcome, 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 and uh, don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, and, um, and leave a comment, guys. So we'll continue this vlog, this is me opening it, I will continue it tomorrow, I will continue with it on Sunday, and close it on my live on Tuesday for my submission. At the end of the month, again, I have a job spec, a job I'm to discuss with you, so watch until the end, guys. It's worth your while, definitely. I already have three or four job specs for the next coming weeks. I told you guys, wherever I meet people, I will make sure that I hear of hiring um, opportunities and I will come and like you guys on them. So, um, also, for, I will also have um, internship programs opportunities as well that I will discuss with you in my upcoming
Yeah. So now let's leave it here. Love you guys. Bye. Cheers.
subscribe because it's also if it's clear. Right? I hope you got this. Let's have a fish. And now um, we're gonna make the paste for the pickled fish. Get the leaves, guys. So I am using. Let me show you. I am actually using heavy um, leaves. <laughs> Eleven hours shopping. I can get the leaves. I had two of those of the leaves. So heavy leaves.
I really don't have to fight pickles. There's a difference. Um, I didn't fry the onion. I just look boiled it. Um, so I can have the crunchiness. So it's pickled, not curry fish.
so happy guys your easter pickled fish uh by yours truly wow. <laughs> so guys um so this is to um we can't have it tomorrow we can't have it on good friday so like i said i usually prepare it a week uh, before five days before um good friday so we're not gonna be able to have this on friday but um knowing my family they might want to taste it <laughs> my sisters and the kids they might want to taste it and if they do well i'm not gonna have it on friday i'm definitely gonna have this on sunday it will taste better on sunday so we must just let it all the sauces and flavors to settle in and um yeah yummy can't wait to have this so this is a recipe that i'm known for <laughs> yes i've shared it but yeah it's, it's a simple one honestly I hope I got the measurements right because I was just reading it and the fact that I used um, the fact that I used curry leaves instead of bay leaves I hope that doesn't um, it doesn't take as well and the flavors will be the same there you go guys okay let me settle down so I can close this week's vlog um, let's just wrap this one up just wanted to cook with you guys uh, and then I'm gonna close this week's vlog and um, I'm gonna do it. So, see you just now. Hi guys, hello, hi, hello. Um, welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome, 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 welcome. Please do the right thing. Um, if you have not subscribed yet, but you've been viewing my vlogs, please subscribe hit the subscribe button leave a comment drop in a like um or hit the like button and drop a comment sorry guys uh, it's late it's late guys a disclaimer i am extremely exhausted so if i am mumbling through this please bear with me i'm really trying to get um uh, to close in this vlog this weekly vlog today is wednesday and it's literally seven minutes before midnight right so i am exhausted but i need to close it i'm not gonna have time to close it tomorrow uh, because i have a hectic day ahead of me tomorrow at work busy with interviews so um yeah so i need to close it i'm late i'm late in my choose sorry tuesday um edit editing uh, submission so i am trying to submit this i wonder if i'll be able to submit it tonight but we'll try uh, probably not maybe tomorrow uh but at least if i can just close it off and then i know tomorrow i just go through um all the videos that i've been taking so far to create this vlog and then submit but anyway for those of you who are new here, my name is Larato, otherwise also known as Marato or Ratos. And you can call me anything that you want to call me. Uh, between those, whether you want to call me Ratos or you want to call me Marato, I am easy, guys. So welcome, welcome, welcome to this week's vlog. Uh, so let's close it, let's close it. And usually you know that I close it with a job alert. So yes, guys, I do have a job alert. I do have a job opportunity. And this time it's for Abom Kayabam in the Eastern Cape of Tasse. Um, so it, this position is based in the Eastern Cape, but, but we are not limiting it to the Eastern Cape, guys. We're definitely not limiting it to the Eastern Cape. Um, so if you are willing to relocate, then I'm also talking to you if you are willing to relocate. So this this position, um, this company rather is looking for a sales rep, guys, right? A sales rep that's gonna be covering the Eastern Cape region. So um so yeah I will be dropping the spec right on the site. I'll definitely be dropping on the it on the site the detail spec please go through it remember we tried to keep this vlog short to 30 minutes so i have briefly summarized it and i'm gonna try and summarize it without boring you by reading it because i honestly hate it when uh, like i disengage to go and read i don't think it's cute at all i don't think that it's cute 
So I tried familiarizing myself with the spec and I made brief notes to cover just what I think are important parts um, just to take you through it. But otherwise, I will drop the details of the spec here for you to apply. And I will also then drop my email address where you can send your CVs to, right? So, um, so like I've mentioned, it's a sales rep that's based in the Eastern Cape or you can, um, someone who's going to be covering the Eastern Cape region, right? So this company is looking for uh, a sales rep that's going to uh, present and sell the company's products and services, guys. So if you are great in selling, like as in, you can sell ice to an Eskimo. <laughs> just had to do that <laughs> so um this is definitely for you guys so um so definitely um obviously to grow the business customer uh base in the eastern cape region uh someone who can sell these products or services to the organizations at large government agencies uh private companies and yes so basically that's who they're looking for because obviously they're increasing um, their customer base in the Eastern Cape, okay? So um, in terms of the sales aspect of this role, right? Because there's an admin part to it, there's also um, a reporting part to it in terms of marketing analysis reports and um, um, and, 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 and competitors' uh, uh, pricing um reports as well in terms of comparison uh, uh if this if, if 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 this company has a competitive advantage in terms of their pricing right those are the reports that's going to be expected okay so in those sections so let's cover the sales uh aspect of it the skills that's required for sales so um obviously in the sales environment there are profit uh profit ability uh the profitability sure so whoa, guys it's late profitability targets that are set so um so monthly profitability targets you need to meet those targets and what else in terms of sales and um establish and develop um relationships with prospective customers and also then maintain um, relationships with the existing customers, right? So basically customer retention, guys. And um, also reach out to customer leads through cold calling. So um, that's just summarized, but I will drop this aspect in detail in terms of the requirements um, what this company is looking for in terms of the sales skills that you need to possess right um so please have a look at the details on the site and also then what's also important is um a person who's going to be providing after sales service as well right so that's far as the summarized sales um aspect is um goes that's as far as it goes and um someone who's really great in obviously reporting like i've mentioned so because what's going to be expected is for you to provide quarterly um competitive pricing comparison reports okay so i'll repeat that uh, one of the submissions that you need to report on or submit or one of the reports that you need to submit on a quarterly basis is um a com the competitor pricing comparison obviously to ensure that this company is ahead of its competitors in terms of pricing. And um, also monthly submissions of market analysis. So on a monthly basis, you would then be a, a expected to report on market analysis and, 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 and market trends, okay? And in terms of administration, the administration aspect of it, um, you need to be great in clients um, and queries management or client queries management. So, so you need to definitely be strong in handling customer inquiries and also handling customer queries. Okay. And um, also ensure timely and accurate completion of codes. 
I think that's a given, that's an obvious. If you are sales, that's where you start, obviously, the process. Um, once, obviously, you from the customer so if you yeah so you need to be administratively strong in 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 quoting clients and also then um ensuring um the administration of tenders guys so you know salespeople i think i'm talking to you you have an understanding of what i'm mentioning and what is required and most importantly um uh, so, in terms of administratively as well, you need to be willing to work closely with the debtors department, the debtors personnel in terms of collections, right? Ensuring that your um, assistant, the debtors department, as your finance department, um, assisting them with um, collecting on overdue or um, accounts that are in areas. Okay, so yeah, that's um, that's definitely important, and um, and also you administratively as well, you'll be dealing with customer service. Okay, and what else? Let's discuss. I'm gonna drop the detail, guys. I'm gonna drop the detail. Please have a look at it. Um, so in terms of the occupational health and safety part of it, um, you need to obviously be familiar or know the standards that are required in terms of health and safety um, and uh, the code of, of, of conduct and, 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 and the standard that's required, right? Make sure that um, the, the, not only the client, uh, but also the company's health and safety um, um, uh, code of conduct and standards are a hundred percent are met okay so obviously then sales will also then be working closely with your techs um on the field and just to ensure that um the health and safety regulations or code of uh, conduct or standards are met both the companies and the clients okay and uh minimum educational requirements are your grade 12 Definitely a given. You need to have completed grade 12 and also become a degree in marketing, management, or an equivalent qualification will be advantageous to you. Okay. So as I page through my notes, guys, or in terms of experience, your three to five years working experience as a sales representative or as a sales rep, and um, you need to be well organized and customer centric, right? So you need to definitely be customer centric and well organized and people skills are given. Great communication skills a given. And I also like how they stated in their, in, in, in their spec that you need to have exquisite communication skills. <laughs> yeah. So, um, and you also then need to be flexible and willing to work long hours, guys, and over the weekend as and when required. Okay, so I've tried summarizing this, my salespeople, my sales reps in the Eastern Cape, please do apply, check the email, send your CVs to recruitment472 at gmail.com. Um, I can never emphasize enough, I cannot emphasize enough the timelines, guys, the time frames. Please do not sleep on the spec apply as soon as you come across this video or you hear about it um and um guys the viewers that are on here if you are on here and you are a returning subscriber and you are on here and this spec is not for you please spread the word please let people know out there there are people that are literally um available and they are sitting at home without jobs guys please let's let's get those candidates or those potential sales uh, reps or potential candidates jobs guys um let's not let's not forget uh the the core objective of why we are trying to grow this community right on this channel 
um to get people jobs guys so please spread the word so if you are already part of this community and you've watched my vlogs from the intro video to the accountant spec that i advertised uh to um, the electrician spec that i advertised last week and now the sales rep spec that's based in the eastern cape and you've been returning to watch and you're watching the videos till the end and these specs do not speak to you please don't be disheartened uh don't despair you'll never know one week i may be dropping a job spec that is related to you and your experience and your qualification so um please do not despair uh do come back to watch and see if the job specs are not yours or they do not match your qualification uh, rather or guys even if this is for you to spread the word and tell and help and help help other people get jobs um that's basically what we are trying to build this community for so guys um you will see that my energy is very low i am really exhausted it's after it's seven minutes past 12 it's after midnight seven minutes past midnight and the reason in my defense i've i closed off this vlog so late is that you will see that i also cooked with you so i cooked with you i cooked pickled fish for uh, this easter weekend not necessarily for friday because we know that um all those who can cook pickled fish know that um, it needs to be prepared a week um, in advance a week before it is served so we definitely i'm late um it's been crazy at work so i i am i am late <laughs> this year i usually i usually make I'm, I'm 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 the one who brings um pickled fish for my family and i must say even if i may say so myself my sisters love my pickled fish so um so yeah i i i i I made it late this year so we're not gonna have it on Friday um, we will have it on Sunday so then obviously it, it like it yeah so um yeah so 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 guys I think I'm gonna close it if it's visible on my face that I am tired it's because I am but I committed to um, dropping these vlogs on Sunday uploading them on sundays on a weekly basis so we are now on thursday though i did not meet my editing deadline and boy am i gonna be in trouble <laughs> uh, because now shame i'm not leaving gum with enough time to edit but sunday you will definitely have this vlog this coming sunday easter sunday the vlog will be up and running so guys if you have not subscribed please do please uh, uh press the subscribe button hit the subscribe button uh hit a like leave a comment guys please i am not receiving your comments please comment let's engage let's 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 let's, let's talk about the job market let's talk about the challenges that we are facing let's let's you, you'll never know your situation may be um of valuable information um to the next person and it may help your story may help the next person your experience um in how you would have you 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 secured a job or the challenges you faced uh, in trying to secure a job may, may may assist the next person so let's engage guys um yeah let's grow the channel let's continue growing the channel so um if you are a returning viewer and a returning subscriber thank you guys thank you for your support let's let's just spread the word let's spread the link let's grow this channel so we can assist that one candidate at a time so please pause on the spec on the side pause have a look at it see if you are a match and do the right thing send your cvs to recruitment472 at gmail.com recruitment472 at gmail.com all right guys cheers let's leave it here for now love you guys bye cheers bye